Hello everyone, my name is Mindy Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning of isoquant, properties of isoquant and types of isoquant curves and iso cost line and least cost combination of factors or we can say that producers equilibrium. So let's start it. So what is iso quant? Iso quant shows a different combination of labor and capital that give us same amount of output. Iso quant shows a different combination of labor and capital that give us same amount of output. Here you can see in first column we have combination, second column we have labor, third column we have capital, last column we have output. At combination A we are using 1 labor and 12 capital and getting output equal to 100. At B combination we are using 2 labor and 8 capital and getting output equal to 100. Similar you can see C, D and E combination. Main thing is that whatever combination of labor and capital we will use, we will receive same amount of 100 output because this is our ISO quant which shows different combination of labor and capital that give us same amount of output. If we convert this table into diagram, we will get this. In this diagram on x axis, we have labor and y axis, we have capital. Here you can see different combination A, B, C, D, E. All combination are giving same amount of output. When we join all this combination, we will get our isoquant curve. This IQ represent our isoquant curve. Now we are going to talk about properties of isoquant. First property is isoquant slopes downward. Isoquant don't have upward slope, vertical slope or horizontal slope. It always have downward slope. Second property is isoquant are convex to origin. Isoquant always are convex to origin because of diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution. Next is higher isoquant shows higher level of output. Means higher isoquant shows more output. In this diagram you can see IQ1 isoquant is higher than IQ isoquant. That's why IQ1 isoquant shows more output as compared to IQ isoquant. Similar I, IQ2 isoquant are higher than IQ1 isoquant. That's why IQ2 isoquant shows more output as compared to IQ1 isoquant because higher isoquant shows more output. Next property is Two isoquant cannot cut each other. Two isoquant cannot cut each other. Next is isoquant cannot touch x axis and y axis. Isoquant cannot touch x axis and y axis. Suppose isoquant touch this x axis. That means we are using only OL amount of labor without using capital. But this is not possible in case of isoquant. So we can say the isoquant cannot touch x axis and y axis. Last is isoquant need not to be parallel to each other. Isoquant need not to be parallel to each other. In this diagram you can see IQ1 and IQ2 isoquant are parallel to each other. But IQ3 and IQ4 isoquant are not parallel to each other. Because it is not necessary in case of isoquant, they will be always a parallel. It all depend on marginal rate of technical substitution. Now we are going to talk about types of isoquant. First type of isoquant is linear isoquant. Linear isoquant shows perfect substitutability between factors of production. Or we can say that according to linear isoquant, factors are completely substitute with each other. We can completely use labor instead of capital or capital instead of labor. In this diagram you can see on x axis we have labor and y axis we have capital. We can produce either using OL amount of labor or OK amount of capital. Linear isoquant also called state line isoquant. You can see there is state line. Second type is right angle isoquant. According to this isoquant, factors are complementary with zero substitution. According to right angle isoquant, factors are complementary with zero substitution. 
or we can say that according to this iso quant for producing particular amount of output we need both factor of production we cannot substitute factor for each other in this diagram you can see for producing particular amount of output we need both factors of production we need labor as well as capital we need ol amount of labor and ok amount of capital we cannot substitute factor for each other we need both factor for producing particular amount of output next iso quant is kinked iso quant according to kinked iso quant factors of production have limited substitutability according to kinked iso quant factors of production have limited substitutability means at some limit we can substitute factors of production for each other in this diagram you can see we have four methods of production p1 p2 p3 and p4 here you can see one kinked curve a f and we can substitute factor of production within this kinked curve or we can say that we can substitute factor of production between these point a b c d f and beyond this point we cannot substitute factor of production because in this iso quant factors of production have limited substitutability we can substitute factor of production at some limit next type is smooth convex iso quant smooth convex iso quant shows continuous substitutability between factors of production over certain range smooth convex iso quant shows continuous substitutability between factors of production over a certain range means according to this iso quant at particular range we can continuous substitute labor for capital and capital for labor in this diagram you can see this all point a b c d e f shows continuous substitutability between capital and labor when we join all this point we will get our smooth convex iso quant now we are going to talk about iso coast line iso coast line shows various combination of capital and labor that firms can purchase with given price of capital and labor and with given amount of money means whatever combination of capital and labor producer can buy with given price of capital and labor and with given amount of money they have it represent by iso cost line so here in first column we have combination second column we have units of capital and price of per unit of capital is equal to 30 rupees next column we have units of labor and price of per unit of labor is equal to 10 last column we have total expenditure or we can say the money that producer have means given money that producer have to buy these factors of production labor and capital so at a combination producer is buying four units of capital and zero unit of labor and cost of a combination is equal to 120 rupees Uh, because price of per unit of capital is equal to 30 rupees 4 multiply with 30 is equal to 120 rupees so cost of a combination is equal to 120 rupees at b combination producer is buying 3 units of capital and 3 units of labor and cost of b combination is also equal to 120 rupees because price of per unit of capital is equal to 30 so uh, 3 multiply with 30 is equal to 90 and price of per unit of labor is equal to 10 and 3 multiply with 10 is equal to 30 90 plus 30 is equal to 120 so cost of b combination is also equal to 120 similar you can see c d and e combination but main thing is that whatever combination producer will buy c d or e its cost will remain same its cost will be equal to 120 rupees when we convert this table into diagram we will get this in this diagram you can see so many combination a b c d e whatever combination of labor and capital producer will buy its cost will equal to uh, 120 or we can say its cost will remain same when we join all this combination we will get our iso cost line this line represent our iso cost line so we can say the iso cost line shows various combination of capital and labor which firm can purchase at given price of capital and labor and given amount of money now we are going to talk about least cost combination of factors of production or we can say that producers equilibrium 
मीन्स द लीस्ट कॉस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन और प्रोड्यूसर इक्वली बीरम आर सेम थिंग एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स इक्वली बीरम बेसिकली टेल अस हाउ अ प्रोड्यूसर कैन गेट मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट विद इन हिज कॉस्ट लिमिट एंड देर आर थ्री कंडीशन ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर्स इक्वली बीरम फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज एट इक्वली बीरम लेवल आइसो क्वांट कर्व शुड बी टेंजेंट टू आइसो कोस्ट लाइन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज आइसो क्वांट कर्व एंड व्हाट इज आइसो कोस्ट लाइन एट प्रोड्यूसर इक्वली बीरम आइसो क्वांट कर्व शुड बी टेंजेंट टू आइसो कोस्ट लाइन सेकेंड कंडीशन इज एट इक्वली बीरम लेवल स्लोप ऑफ आइसो कोस्ट लाइन शुड बी इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ आइसो कोस्ट कर्व and last condition of producer equilibrium is the at equilibrium level iso quant should be convex to origin now we are going to talk about diagram of producer's equilibrium in this diagram on x axis we have labor and y axis we have capital iq1 iq2 and iq3 are our iso quant curves this line a b this line represent our iso cost line e is our producers equilibrium point at this point our all conditions of producer equilibrium is fulfilled you can see at this point iso quant curve is tangent to iso cost line second slope of iso cost line is equal to slope of iso quant curve and at this point our iso quant curve is convex to origin so we can say that e is our producer's equilibrium point because all conditions of producer equilibrium point are fulfilled at this point now question is that why we cannot establish our equilibrium on r and s point we cannot establish our equilibrium on r and s point because r and s point are on lower iso quant curve and lower iso quant curve give us less amount of output now why we cannot uh, establish our equilibrium on this iso quant curve no doubt iq3 iso quant curve is higher and higher iso quant give us higher level of output but at this uh, iso quant curve our expenditure will increase our cost will increase that's why we cannot establish our equilibrium on this uh, uh, iso quant curve so our producer equilibrium point is e here all conditions of producer equilibrium is satisfied so this is all about iso quant curve i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care